mess I have right here. So welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. In this video, we're just going to kind of cover some of what I'm doing. Some of it I wanted to make a video on, but like the canoe sitting here needs painting. I'm going to start working on it today. In fact, I already started some work on it. I have run myself ragged for the last little while, uh, and I do it to myself. I promised out knives and, and, and trying to get a bunch of stuff done before Christmas. Y'all ain't even got to hunt. I, I mean, <laughs> which I, other than the public land, I don't have anywhere to hunt. Uh, just back here, like my little stand is just a place to go sit. You're not really going to kill anything there. Um, and it kind of, and with that, it just kind of sucks the desire to go. You got so much you really need to be doing anyway. So there's not enough water to put the canoe in. I'm hoping after Christmas we'll get some rain and the water will come up. It'll come up at some point. But nevertheless, we still going to paint it. Uh, we may take it down there and go fishing. But I've got to get that worked on. Uh, I wanted to finish the project on my my truck, the the back bed. But right now, I've got this scattered out. We're working on knives. And I'm down to a little bit of leather. Y'all, leather has went up. I know some of you may have noticed, you know, I started out selling these knives was $100 with a sheath. Well, y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I cannot afford to just give a sheath away with a knife. Um... So now, just for general purposes, if you buy a Jonah knife, it's going to come with a sheath. I haven't made the sheath for this one. It's going to be $150 with a sheath. Uh, the ambidextric sheaths are not really more leather, but more work. They, they, they are a little more leather, but it's the amount of stitching that goes in there. Because you've got to try to line up all of this design on both sides, and it's very hard to do. So this, the, the ambidextric sheaths are just $25 in general. I can make another sheath. I mean, I say they, they $25 more dollars. This is a patch knife. I have just done the boiled oil, boiled linseed oil on the handle. So it is going in. This is one I promised out for somebody. And uh, I'm dragging around on getting it done. So I'm working on all of this stuff. Uh, trying to get caught up. Y'all, it's Christmas season. I'm not the only one that's pressured up. And, and last night, y'all actually didn't get a video as I'm filming this today because... I went in last night and just did not feel like editing. I had a, a good edit, edit video ready to turn out. It just need I mean, I had the footage filmed. I hadn't edited it, and I just didn't feel like editing. I mean, I'm, I sat down, turned the TV on, and started watching a series, and I watched Dickinson all, all night long. Uh, so anyway, this one I'm fixing to... It's sharp. I'm through with it. The boiled linseed oil is. As I stick it in there, that one's done. Ready to go. The patch knives, I had been selling them for $75 with a sheath. You get a patch knife with a sheath for 100 bucks. now. You get a Jonah knife with a sheath for 150 bucks. You want an ambidextric sheath like this, add $25 to it. Uh, and the reason is, is y'all, I got more orders than I can get done. And if I'm going to do it, it's got to be worth doing. Uh, it's cutting into my pottery. So I hope you understand. If you don't no longer want one because of that, I, you know, I can't help that. So I've got to sharpen this one. I've got to do a little more rounding. This one is going to have sycamore handles on it. Uh, and I have a couple more blades cut out that are not ground. These will come up after Christmas. Oh, and they'll hit. I'll put them out on the website. On my Etsy store or may put them on Facebook first. I don't know. I'm going to get this one done and sell it this week. And then I'm through fooling with knives till, till after Christmas. Because there's no hope of getting them at this point to somebody before Christmas. So I would just wait till after Christmas and be done with it. And, uh, and it'll be soon after Christmas. I'm going to spend the month of January 
working on some knives. Uh, I want to make a bunch of knives. I, I've, I've got some saw blades, uh, and it's not really for the money. It's because there's a bunch of people that really want one, and I want you to have one. Uh, they good knives. I, I'm honestly, I'm toting mine. I, I don't. I love my big knives, but y'all, this knife is just a practical knife. So this one is going to be an exact match to my knife. See what I mean? This is what I took. Now, I put a lanyard hole in mine. I'm not putting them in these. And I'll tell you why. That lanyard down there ain't nothing but in the way. Uh, it would it would not have saved me from dropping this one in the creek down there last year because I laid it down. It dangling around your hand on a lot. None of that's... I just don't see the purpose in it, so I'm not putting them in there. If you want to put one in there, by all means do it. If you get you a carbide tip blade or bit, you can drill through this steel. It is hard steel. It can be drilled through. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, and what I'm doing over here, I'll give you a little clip right now. Uh, now, all of these are hand-shaped, clamped over here in this vise with a rasp. Every bit of the handle. So none of them are like exactly alike. But now when I get to like this, see these sharp corners on this? So I'm turning my... got to sharpen this one and it'll get boiled linseed oil and I've got to make a sheath for it. I'm going to do that at some point today, but I'm going to take a break from that for a little while because I want to show you what else I'm doing. So y'all, the canoe back here needs painting. Uh, you see on this end, I, I've already did the front, but this keel cover, whatever you want to call it, it, it really ain't nothing. Somebody took some fiberglass and made a mess is what it is. I bought it this way. Uh, so we're taking all that off. You see on the front, well, you can't see with the sun shining. I have already done it on the front, chipped all that stuff off and started sanding down. Well, you see, there's a pretty red color under here. The rest of the thing is pink. Uh, and I had, I'll show you this. I don't know if you can tell, but I had painted my logo on the side with a stencil. All that's finna come off. So let me show you what I'm doing. I went and got my glasses because this stuff flies everywhere. So what I'm doing is taking a hammer and a chisel. You see that hit right on my glasses. Y'all didn't think I was ever safe, did you? Well, I didn't want to be blind right here at Christmas. I want to be able to watch the kids open presents. I was thinking those Santa Claus might bring me something, but I don't know. I think I've been too bad this year. So anyway, we uh, I found out this is the best way to get this off. And you see some of this Rolex or whatever it is under here is coming off with it. So I'm going to get all of this mess chipped off. We're going to sand this whole boat down. We're going to use the paint. Hey, I'm talking. <laughs> We're going to use the paint that we painted the truck with to, uh, and I realize my rags all folded over my head, to paint this. But I have some Rust-Oleum Hunter Green. I think I'm going to add into it and darken the boat a little bit. So hang with me. And we're going to get some of these projects knocked out. We're just going to film some odd and end stuff today. We are rushing to get everything done before Christmas. I have got some firewood that needs busting up. I broke the handle. It ain't broke out, but I cracked the handle in my wood splitter, my mall. So I'm probably going to hook up the hydraulic wood splitter to the tractor and split some of it. So we'll try to get some clips of all the stuff we're doing today. Y'all hang with us. 
Hey y'all, I didn't realize it, but I done uncovered a, a hole number, TBH. So I didn't know all of that was on there. Interesting, interesting. Y'all, that stuff just popping right off. Especially up here on this front. These areas, like right there, it stuck a little bit, but the biggest majority of it, see, it's just flaking off. They half hit it, whoever put that on there. And you see where the holes is rubbed out? They ain't even doing no, no, I mean, it's not benefiting them. I need to seal that up with something. There's a hole through it right there. sanding this down now y'all had your mask on didn't you you'll catch that cancer right through the phone screen i'm telling you you better have your mask on oh but it ain't red no more i mean it ain't pink no more we done turned it red at least oh uh, now i don't know if in these scratches like this i hadn't got all the way down in there the paint may peel off that i don't know how well that paint is gonna stick to this royal x that is some type of a rubberish plastic like stuff that's there uh, it's not really fiberglass now this is fiberglass but what i'm gonna do now is i've got a few more spots over here that i want to smooth out a little bit and then i'm gonna wash it off let it dry and then probably wipe it down with alcohol on the rag i wish i had a couple of cans of starting fluid that's what i'd spray it down with That'll take all that residue off of it and evaporate quick. But we'll probably use rag and alcohol uh, and get it clean. And then I'm going to tape this up right here. Uh, I don't know. I really wish that wasn't shiny and silver, but I don't want it all the same color. I want to access. I may, I may tape it off and then paint that a different color sometime. But for right now... I'm trying to think. Probably going to tape it up and paint the canoe. We may touch that up with a different color. But if we do that, we could just paint it and then tape it up and paint a different color over the paint, couldn't we? I don't know. I don't know how well that aluminum, it ain't clean, but I'm finna wash all this. So anyway, we're going to figure something out here. As long as my water hose is. Right, we'll let that dry. 
Well, we are pulling out now. We got to go take a knife to the post office and ship it. We got to find Mama something for Christmas, okay? We haven't bought shell, not one Christmas present. So anyway, let's go see can we make that happen. You know how a man do it, last minute. Well, y'all, we finally had some success finding Mama a present. We headed back to the house now. I would show y'all and tell you what we got her, but she liable to watch this video and then she'd know, so. Anyway, we got some. Hopefully, we didn't get one of them, what we call a ducky gill, you know, them junky gills. But anyway, we need to go home and get this old boat painted. I need to change the clutch bearing and my buggy, too, so let's go get some more projects to you. All right, y'all, I got some. This is the paint I painted my truck with. So what I'm going to do is I'm fixing that. I got some green, which is this color green and we mix it with this and see if we can darken it a little bit now i don't think we're gonna need no whole bunch that has gotten thicker now that it is cold so i got me a professional stirring stick right here all right oh well we got a good bit in there whoa it's still a pour I was going to wipe it. All right, let's see what this does. It darkens that up a good bit. I think we got a nice color, y'all. We're going to... And they both enamel. I don't know what... We're going to put a... Splash of that. I think we're gonna get a little more of a green color with this now. This might have been what we should have done to the truck, right? Look, see, we got a nice olive drab color now. That's what we should have done the other day when we painted that truck. Fixing to put this in this paint gun, and y'all, we're fixing to go paint a whole canoe. And I was going, I'm gonna tell y'all now, I was gonna tape it all up and whatnot, and my tape kept tearing from the edge across. And I just, we're gonna paint them aluminum rails green, and then I'll come back and tape the actual canoe. I'll get me some new tape one day, and we're gonna paint that top part either brown or black or some, some other color. So anyway, let's pour this in here. I'm gonna set all this down here somewhere. I don't want it getting uh, paint all over. Well, I done got it everywhere, so. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, I had to figure out what I was doing on the other side over here. Get my pattern right before I got over here. Got... I'm going to try not to paint my whole number. Probably should have taped over it. I can sand it, though.
Somebody asked me in the last video when I painted the truck why I didn't open the fan up on this. If you watch this, the more I open this fan up, the thinner that paint it don't, it just, it seems to coat better when I do it in a smaller pattern. This paint is thick. I got no whole lot of paint. Oh no, it ain't much paint at all. Maybe we Okay, y'all, we finna go over it with the second coat. I seriously doubt we exactly the same color. In fact, I hope it kinda ain't. If it's a different color, I can't tell it, can y'all? For an old boy mixing with his eyes, don't go on, I, I, I mixed pretty close. I was actually kind of hoping it was a different shade where I could see where I hadn't painted. <laughs> so the secret is, if you want the color exact, try to make it a little different. That's your pro painter tip of the day. <laughs> I'm left-handed, I gotta be on this side. And y'all, if I get some runs in this old boat, I ain't too worried about it. Oh, we're gonna doctor it up with our logo and a few other things, so. Well, y'all, Brody's about to have a spell. We had a package come in while I was gone. I was out there painting on the boat. He come running down there. We got a package. What we got? A package. Well, tell them all about the package. Well, Mommy was... See that thing, y'all? Mama was trying to peep in it, wasn't she? Yeah. I think Mama was trying to make sure it wasn't one of his Christmas presents. Yes. Says from Anthony Rowland. We ready to open it? Yes. Yeah. So what we got in here, if you want to know the truth? Maybe not mine, but cool. It may not be yours, Reagan. You just like for us to get a package. Watch your fingers. Look, when I got a knife, 
You don't stick your fingers over here. From Anthony and Deborah Rowland to Brody. Merry Christmas. There you go. That's all you get. You think there's something in there? Yeah. Are you sure? <gasps> this is cold! <laughs> oh boy, my God. boy, 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 boy. Oh my God. I there you go. He's got him a helicopter and a truck and all kind of stuff. And glow sticks. Yeah. Okay. Let's, I let's... can use these for my birthday party. Oh, I dropped He got him a helicopter, a tank, cannon. Woo, <laughs> he's ready now. Look, you can use those for my birthday. Yeah, buddy. That's cool, ain't it? It ain't so mean. Thank y'all. <laughs> he's all excited. Now we don't get him to go cut no firewood, I bet. <laughs> it comes with a full wheeler. And yeah, it's up with, in there. And it comes with some accessories. Accessories. Yeah. Yeah, that's the accessories is up here. The guns and knives and what have you. Yeah. All right. I like these guns. Well, I turned the camera on and the sun is right in our, I had to get Bertie's head to block the sun out. But we got the wood splitter hooked up. I'll show y'all what we fixed the bust up. Come on. Let's show them what we're going to bust up over here. This is a rig up here now. And it'll show enough bust some wood. You ain't gonna stick nothing under this and it, it won't bust. So what we got is the big old rounds I cut off. And I deliberately cut them limbs out and left them. But now with this hooked up, I was gonna try to bust that one with my hand maul and I busted the handle right off. But now I may can get this thing up there and bust it now. I couldn't bust that with a hand maul, but I bet this tractor will bust it. If we man enough to get them over there on the tractor. No, uh, no, 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 no. You wait let Daddy show you. We teaching him how to work, y'all. You see this lever here? Push it down. Hold it down. Now we hit that cylinder probably ain't full of hydraulic oil. I may have to add some to it. Let me see this. Uh-uh. That's it. You got to push it harder. <laughs> now he's doing it, y'all. It'll bust through whatever. Okay, pull it back the other way. Pull it up. Hold it up. Don't do nothing, okay, till I tell you, all right?
boat right there now. Hold that boat in the hand, son. And I'm a fan of doing it by hand. Sometimes it ain't worth it. said that was cool. I, I thought it was pretty cool myself.
somewhere that time. I didn't get too big a bite on it.
That boy's gonna be all right. Four years old now, and he's already operating a wood splitter. Yeah, we'll leave the tractor there. Huh? Tractor. Yeah, we're gonna leave the tractor there because we're gonna bust all the rest of it up tomorrow. We'll bring the saw and cut this other stuff on up into final lengths. And we're gonna, while we got this hooked up, we're gonna bust everything we can bust tomorrow. Yeah. So we have to leave the tractor here to take yeah. the Where's Papa go? He's at home. He went hunting, didn't he? Yeah. I think Papa went hunting. Yeah. Well, let's load this up and get it in the buggy, y'all. You get them little sticks. I'll get these big ones. Let's get this in this buggy. Yeah, you get them little ones. Yeah. 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 I told you to get you some gloves, didn't I? Oh, he didn't need no gloves. We don't need no gloves. Yeah, I can get <laughs> That don't even make good kids, boy. <laughs> well, y'all, that turned into an ordeal. I had my flashlight out. Got on the buggy over there, went to leave and the battery was dead. I had to jump it off. It went dead, it's got a loose connection on the cables, they corroding. Finally got it here, we jumped it off twice. Finally got it here, I went and fed the chickens. I was gonna start filming, I was gonna film a little bit of feeding the chickens just to throw it in the video. Well, no phone. So I spent the last 10, 15, 20 minutes looking for the phone. I finally found it. It was under the seat of that thing where it fell out of my pocket. It's always something, y'all. And I realize that light up there is like blinding y'all. So anyway, we are. This will be some good wood to have over right here. Cause it is about the right seasoning. I know everybody wants their wood like really, really dry. I don't. Uh, I like mine a little bit before it gets so dry that it just burns up so fast. Because who wants to get up all through the night put wood on the fire? You know what I mean, Burn? So anyway, y'all, we uh, got wood cut. I'm going to get it all stacked in here. And uh, this will last us for a couple of weeks anyway, I imagine. I've got a good bit more, which obviously tomorrow I'm going back over there and bust all the rest of that up. Uh, I have got a ranger station I've got a bill for a young man that's getting that for Christmas. And I'm going to build it and try to make it as cool as I can. So, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. This has just kind of been a little this, that, and the other today. Pretty cool video, I thought, though. We'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.